All right, Shalom, Yasharala. Uh, first and foremost, we want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Rakhakodash. Double honors to the Apostles and the Elders of Great Millstone of New York for their wealth. And salutations to all oxen pushing this word in truth and in sincerity with charity. Uh, we're, the brothers from, we're the brothers from the GMS Chicago branch. And uh, we just want to get into a quick lesson about uh, you know, the Lord, how the Lord's going to execute vengeance upon all the heathen. There's the book of Ezekiel, chapter 30, and verse 3. <coughs> um, Ezekiel 30, and th uh, chapter 30, verse 3. For the day is near, even the day of the Lord is near, a cloudy day. It shall be the time of the heathen. You know what I'm saying? Because, uh... That's what's going to happen at the one of the last prophecies is that all the heathen are going to be gathered up together. The Lord's going to just fuck them up, man. He's going to destroy them, all right? Uh, because they, they've taken us and scattered us, and they've used us. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about us Israelites, Hebrew Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. Ain't confusion the faces. And go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You know? We've made every other kingdom great, you know what I mean? Because we... We're enslaved for free. I mean, we did all this work for free, all right? But now is the time where the Lord's going to come back and visit this place and, and, and restore it, you know what I mean? Make it, uh, renew it, refresh it, you know what I'm saying? First, he has to wipe out all this wickedness, though. Um, yeah, that's right. Hey, but what? Uh, uh, scripture say what? That every, uh, I believe in Maccabees? Right now, um, oh, first Maccabees 2 and 10. Yeah. You know, yeah, just want to grab that. What nation has not had a part of us? I mean, every nation, there's a, there's 18 families in there. The other 17 families have had us, I'm talking about Hebrew Israelites, enslaved throughout history. All right? And we're the children of the Most High. All right? We're above all nations. You know? And now they've touched the apple of the Lord's eye. No, no, no. You, you, you fucked up already, man. I mean, the Lord put us in slavery because we. We transgress, all right. But now Esau, Edom, they further the affliction, and all you either, other you other heathens have taken a part of it. You know what I mean? You lick the wounds and live deliciously, while you know Jacob, the twelve tribes of Israel, were at the very bottom. All right. This is uh, First Maccabees two and ten. It says, <clears throat> "What nation had not had a part in her kingdom and gotten up and spoiled, man? Hey, because every nation out here has has." Uh, uh, Benefited uh, off us, man. You know, a, a, the Arabs, you know, what do they do? They set their stores where? Right, right, by, right by us. You know, they own the gas stations, the little, little uh, uh, quick markets, you know. They, and they always, they, always, they always sit around Jake, you know, because they, cause they, know, they know Jake uh, 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 likes to consume. Like, like I don't know if you never ever noticed, in the gas station. In the regular gas station, you have chips, you know, drinks, you know, uh, candy, you know, and things for you know for cars, right? You go you go to a gas station where Arab is in the hood, uh, or where Jake uh, mainly lives. What do you see? Shirts, hats, fucking uh, 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 and a whole bunch of other shit. Like, damn, this is a gas station. This is this is a fucking supermodel, you know? Right. Because they they know they 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 they, they um. They, they know they like they relax to consume, you know? Yeah, they cater to Jake, you know what I mean? So they're going to have supplies that Jake is going to buy, you know? Because no other nation is going to go up in there and buy that. They're going to go and buy gas, you know what I mean, at the pump. Put right. their card in and get the fuck up out of there. But Jake gets the, the hot Cheetos with the cheese and jalapenos on it, buys the t-shirts and hats, and, you know, it's all for Jake, man. And they, they know what they're doing. It's not by accident that these heathens are in our neighborhoods, man. All right, selling to us and abominable foods. You know they don't eat you know pork. These these uh, Islamic Arabs, you know whatever the hell you want to call them. They they know that if they they feed it to us. You know what I mean we're, they're gonna keep us down, man. They know that the Lord's not gonna deal with us if, if we're you know you know sitting like that. You know what I mean? So that's why you gotta repent, man. You gotta turn back to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh You know what I mean? And, and keep the laws and your commandments to the best of your ability, man. Get right with the Lord, because we all fucked up, man. We're all worthy of death, man. So use this grace period to, to 
to get in the, the, the Lord's good side, man. You know, what does it say? Kiss the, kiss the Lord lest you make him hang, angry or something? Like kiss the sun lest he be angry. The sun, yeah, so I kiss the water. <clears throat> this is Micah chapter 3, uh, verse 1. And I said, Here I pray you, O heads of Jacob, and ye princes of the house of Israel, is it not for you to know judgment? Oh, wait, is this, this is 3 1? Did I say 3 1? Oh, no, I'm sorry, Joel 3 1. Salakia. Salakia, whoops. Sorry, Old Testament uh, 1611, they look at the name Joel here in the, in the middle of Micah. My bad. Salakia. Yeah. Let's see if there it is again. Right here. Right here. Yes. Dang. Why? Salakia. Yeah. Uh, Joel chapter 3, verse 1. For behold, in those days and in that time, when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah, right? The southern kingdom, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. And Jerusalem, the northern kingdom, the so-called Latinos and Native American Indians, the ten tribes, uh, I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat, right? The Most High's judgment. And will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage, Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, this, this is what you... You, you guys uh, sowed uh, wickedness among us, you know, using us, casting us. Uh, like in verse 3, and they have cast lots for my people and have given a boy for a harlot and sold a girl for wine that they might drink. You know what I mean? All you heathens, not just Esau, Edom, have taken, you know, have done this, but all you heathens have taken a part of this. All right? Let me jump to, to verse 12, Joel 3 and 12. Let the heathen be awakened and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat. For there will I sit to judge all the heathen round about, man. And that's exactly what's going on, man. Biblical prophecy. There is a, a you know, we got Iran, Russia, and China uh, all waking up, man. Just ready to bomb the shit out of this place, man. You know, and that's going to continue over there in the Valley of Jehoshaphat. Yeah. This is uh, Psalms. <clears throat> 83 and 1, it says, Keep not thy, thou silence, O Yahweh. Hold not thy peace, and be not still, O Yahweh. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people, and have consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, Come, and let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may no more be in remembrance. And that's what they do, man. All these nations, uh, uh, hey, they always get together whenever they have those uh, those meetings, those uh, summit G G twenty or G twenty, you know, those 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 uh, uh, meetings and those uh, high rises, you know. Uh, and what do you think they talk about, man? It's always it's always it's always the next move on Jake. Oh, how do we keep keep them down? How do we what do we uh, need to keep doing so you know so they would stay uh, stupid. So they will keep on working for us. So they may stay as slaves, you know. Yeah, because it was one of the the Rothschilds or Rockefellers. They said that we want a, a nation of workers, basically. You know what I mean? And you don't, they don't want you to think or anything. They just want you to, to like a, like an animal. Just put your ass to work, and that's it. Shut your mouth and get going. You know what I mean? And if you notice that those G summits, uh, we don't have representation there. All right, there's no one sitting from the twelve tribes of Israel sitting among there. You know, giving us a voice because you know we're not supposed to have an agreement with them in the first place, all right? And just so you know, uh, those those African nations that they have nothing to do with us, man. That's Ham, all right? That's a, the, the 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 descendants of Ham and the Hamites, like Barack Obama, right? They're not our people, all right? It says, uh, Slocky, go ahead. And, and it's all what? It's all to. Uh, oh yeah, jump in! Come on. Yeah, it's all to 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 cut us off, man. So, so that we won't remember uh, who we are. Or come, you come back to, to, to our heritage, man. Uh, verse 6, it says, The tabernacles of Edom and the Ishmaelites of Moab and the Hagarines, Gabal and Ammon and Amalek, the Philistines, were the inhabitants of Tyree, man. Hey, so what? Edom. Uh, <clears throat> you, you Edomites, you so-called white people. Ishmaelites, you so-called uh, uh, Arabs. You know? Hey, because you had a part, a part in our, in our, uh, in our, in our, uh, uh, the 
boats, man. You, you're the one who made the boats for the for the Amalek, man. The the fake Jews, you know. Mm-hmm. It says of Moai, you, you Asians, you 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 uh you Chinese, and the uh, Hagarines, and Gabal, and Ammon, you uh you Japanese and Amalek, you know. Hey, the most I said what? He said that uh, don't forget about Amalek, man. You know, cause hey, when when hey when uh, uh when you, we were coming out of Egypt, man, hey, what did he do? He went and attacked uh uh uh, uh he attacked us from the backside, man, where all the feeble people were, the women, the children. You know, it says that the uh, Philistines with the inhabitants of Tyree, which is you are uh, you Hamites, like the brother was saying, as uh, sir, you you are. Uh, Assyrians, this is also is joined with them. They, them, they have hope in the children of Lot. Said Lot, it says, "Do unto them as unto the Midianites, as to Sisera, as to Jebin in the brook, uh, Kison, which perished at Endor. They became as dung for the earth." It says, "Make their nobles like Oreb and like Ziba. Yeah, all their princes are like Ziba." And Salmona, who said, Let us take ourselves to the house of Yahweh in possession. Oh, my power, make them like a wheel as a stubble for the women. And these are all people, when you read the book of uh, of Judges, these are all princes and kings of other nations that the hey, that, that, that Israel put to death, you know? And when you read their stories, man, hey, I, I believe uh, Siba, Salmona, they, uh, they, uh, I think it was Gideon that captured him, and then uh, uh, he told him, uh, he told his son to uh, to kill him, you know, but he couldn't do it because he was too young, and he he ended up doing it himself, you know. So let so let them be like these heathens, man. Let let, let these nations be like them, you know. And the Most High is gonna do that, man. You know, hey. So no, nobody else has next in in, in in the power seat, man. You know, because I know you Moabites, you Chinese think just because Esau eat them. Is going through his shit and you see him falling that you think you're next. That's not the case, man. You know, hey, the, uh, the scriptures say what the Esau, Esau is the is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followed. You know. Now this is the book of Daniel, chapter seven. Let's jump around. This is verse uh, twenty-three. Thus he said, "The fourth beast shall be the fourth kingdom upon earth, which shall be diverse from all the kingdoms." And shall devour the whole earth, and shall tread it down, and break it in pieces. You know, there's this last rulership here. This is Esau Edom's kingdom. You know, the rebirth of the Roman Empire. Uh, verse 26. I'm going to jump down to 26. But the judgment shall sit, and they shall take away his dominion to consume and to destroy it unto the end. And the kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the Most High, Whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and all dominions shall serve and obey him. You know what I'm saying? Because the kingdom of heaven, all right, man, it's it's gonna last forever. It's it's not gonna have no end, all right. And, and after a thousand years of hardcore slavery for you, seventeen families, you know, Esau, Edom, you're gonna be exterminated. The other families, you're gonna be tributaries. We're, we're the Lord's gonna have mercy on you. You're gonna have your own land and all that. But you're going to give tribute to us forever, man. And Moab, you're going to be our wash pot, all right? So don't get excited about you guys blowing up over there in China, man, because that's just coming to, to an end fast, man. All right? So don't you know, get any Moabites in there. Don't do that. It tells you the, um, it tells you the judgment of Moab and Amos. You know, it's the first chapter. Oh, yeah. You know, so you, you Moabites, all the nations that put us in slavery, man, you're about to get it, man. You're about to experience terrible times. All right, because the elder Ariala in Dallas, he um he did a lesson on how the so-called white man feels about us, how he uh he basically conquered us, uh everything that we if we try to set up a community, we have to go to him. If we uh, uh he's conquered us in war, he's conquered our family. So all the all that retribution, all that recompense is coming back upon you, Egypt. That's why all these things are starting to happen in the world. And it's not just you, Edomites. You're going to be joined with your friends, the Chinese. You know, you're going to rejoin with the Arabs, with the Elamites, the East Indians. You know, all you people that have been taking advantage of us. You're going, you're going to have to pay. You're going to go into that same position we were in. You know, 
Now for you, Edomite, it's going to be times two. See? Yeah. This is Micah, or, yeah, Micah chapter 5, verse uh, 15. And I will execute vengeance in anger and fury upon the heathen, such as they have not heard, man. Man, that's, that's the Lord, that's the Spirit of the Lord right there coming down with the, that sword, man. The great wrath. The great wrath, man. Hey, the, the, the Lord say, hey, the scriptures don't, don't call it the great day of the Lord for, for no reason. Right, you know, mm -hmm. scriptures always I, I always make sure they always say hey, that that great and terrible day, the day of judgment, you know, a day of darkness, mm -hmm. you know, it it always emphasizes the great day of the Lord, man, because that's exactly what it's gonna be, you know, it's, it's gonna be a, a a time of of great judgment and great salvation, man, judgment to you heathens and salvation for 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 his people, man, the nation of Israel, which today in uh, in Asia will be uh, so-called Negroes, so-called Latinos, and so-called Native Americans, you know? Hey, brother. This is Ezekiel 36 and 5. It says, Therefore, thus saith the Lord of power, Surely in the fire of my jealousy have I spoken against the residue of the heathen, and against all Idumia, all you Edomites, <laughs> wherever you are, which have appointed my land into their possession with the joy of all their heart, with the spiteful minds to cast it out for a prey. You Amalekites over there in the land of Israel. You're not the real Jews. It says, Prophesy therefore concerning the land of Israel, and say unto the mountains, and to the hills, and to the rivers, and to the valleys, Thus saith the Lord Power, Behold, I have spoken in my jealousy and in my fury, because ye have borne the shame of the heathen. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, I have lifted up mine hand. Surely the heathen that are about thee, Surely the heathen that are about you, they shall bear their shame. You know? So all you heathen that have oppressed us, all you heathen that take advantage of us, <laughs> you're going to be tributaries like the brother said, and you're going to bear your shame. You're already starting to bear your shame because you're falling as this country falls. As the, as the structure of this country falls, this is something you are supported by, the oppression of our people. And now the Lord is taking this place down. And now that's you're going to bear your shame right along with the Edomites and all other nations that oppress us. See? Right. Hey, Revelation 13, it says that what? They should uh, look at afar off, you know, the destruction of, 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 of Babylon, you know, America. And they're going to they're gonna howl. They're going to cry. Oh, that great city, you know? Mm -hmm. Why? Because, hey, like, like we were saying, man, hey, everybody benefits off us, man. You know? And, and, hey, and, and Americans, too, man. You know, well, what they, don't they say that America is more as uh, the most consuming nation? Oh, absolutely. You know, so all these man, all these nations are, hey, you know, if they had a part with uh, with Edom and his kingdom, they're gonna get it too. This is a uh, Lamentations one and twenty one. It says they have heard that I sigh, there is none to comfort me. All my enemies have heard of my trouble. You know, and and not all of them have heard of it. Everybody knows how they treat us here. You know, the, 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 the Chinese, the Japanese, the Arabs, the, the Africans, you know, the, the, the East Indians, you know, the, 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 the Hawaiians, you know, they, they all know how they, they uh, what we're going through and what we've been through, what we're going through, you know, how they treat us here, man. It says, they are glad that thou hast done it. That will bring the day that thou hast called and they shall be like unto me, man. And they're glad at it. Lamentations 2 and 15, it tells you that what? They, they, they should pass. Not there Go ahead. <laughs> this is Lamentations 2 and 15. It says, All that pass by clap their hands at thee. They hiss and wag their head at the daughter of Jerusalem, saying, Is this the city that men call the perfection of beauty, the joy of the whole earth? All thy enemies have opened uh, their mouth against thee. They hiss and gnash the teeth, and they say, We have swallowed her up. Certainly, this is the day that we look for, we have found. We have seen it, right? This is the day we look for, man, because they, 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 because hey, they, they don't want us uh, uh, to see us in rulership, man. They don't want us to rule over them, you know. And it says, "What? Well, this is the day that we have wow, Look, see, look, this is we like seeing them down. Now we're in power. Now we're over them, you know." It says, back to Lamentations one twenty one. It says, "They are glad that thou hast done it." That will bring the day that 
thou hast called them, they shall be like unto me. And that day, hey, that day is coming, man. So now every nation that mocked us, every nation that 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 that, that afflicted us, you know, which is heck, we just read it, uh, Second Maccabees, uh, First Maccabees two and ten. Yep. You know, one nation had not taken uh, of our spoil. Hey, all, all you guys, man, are are, are going now. You're going to go through what uh what we've been going through. You know. It says, "Let their wickedness come before thee, and do unto them as thou hast done unto me." For all my transgressions, for my sighs are many, and my heart is faint. You know, so all that wickedness is gonna come upon your head, man. Hey, uh, 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 the Lord said, uh, "Touch not my anointed, and do my prophets no harm." You know, and hey, and it says, it says that 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 Jerusalem is the apple of His eye, man. You know, you touch you touch the apple of the Lord's eye. So you're gonna you're gonna have a, a great recompense, man. He yeah, he's coming with vengeance, man. Isaiah for I believe it's Isaiah forty seven, man. It says that, that the vengeance is in the Lord's heart, man. You know, so he's waiting for that day. He's waiting for that day to to be able to come back and 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 judge all you nations for for everything you've done uh, uh, to his people. You know. This is uh, I think it's uh the scripture where it says uh, I've been sent to all the nations that have looked to Zechariah. This is Obadiah one and fifteen. It says, "For the day of Yahweh is near upon all the heathen, as thou hast done it." It shall be done unto thee that reward shall return upon thy own head, man. Say everything, man. You know? So now, hey, we're going to be the head and you guys are going to be the tail, man. We're going to lend and you're going to borrow. You know? You know, and all the oppression, man. Hey, because we mainly, we, may, we mainly get an, an Esau Edom, the so-called white man, hey, but... The other nations are in there too, man. You know, you know, hey, the, the Lord hasn't forgotten. You know that, that that's why these scriptures exist. That's what He said. You know. Hey, so you're not you're not gonna go scot free, man. You know, hey, the Lord's coming back, and, and shit. It says it says what? It, 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 if the righteous scarcely be saved, man. You know. How much more the wicked man? The Lord, if the Lord ain't even, he's he's not even saving all his people, man. Right. He's, he's killing most of his people, and that's his own nation. So how much more to you heathens? That are that are counted as nothing, right? Get it, Isaiah forty. Man, yes. <laughs> yeah, that that's the spirit I've been looking at them, and they think they're all that. They don't realize you about to catch pure hell in this place as this economy fails all right it says what it say here um the merchants are not going to be able to uh, uh prosper any, the con yeah they're not going to be able to prosper anymore all these the elamite the elamite uh that owns the uh that owns the uh liquor store he you can tell he's struggling he's raising his prices all these places are raising the prices and they're starting to feel that uh that uh stretch right there that they're starting to feel that uh the heat so they gotta they gotta raise their prices so they get a uh, acquire more money because stuff is becoming more expensive. The 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 place that they're leasing is becoming more expensive. You're not even gonna pay, be able to pay for the rent of your businesses soon. It's gonna get so damn high. A lot of these Elamites. You know, that's why I said they're gonna go back to their country. It's just gonna be. It's gonna be. You know. And if the ones of you that stay here, you gonna get. You gonna get destroyed. And you gonna get judged, man. You're not gonna be able to survive. It's gonna get so bad. It is Isaiah 40, uh, I'll start at 15. Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket and are counted as the small dust of the balance. Behold, he taketh up the isles as a very little thing. I'll jump to 17. All nations before him are as nothing, and they are counted to him less than nothing in vanity. Less than nothing, man. 
احنا كدست ان بالانس يو نو يو هاف ا دست ان بالانس ذا دست از نوت غانا فيك ذا ذا ويت يو نو سو يو 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 نوتينج ذا ذا مان نو يو 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 نو بعد يو نو سو اي يو يو جاد مان كومي مان يو نو زين اتس نوت غانا بي بريتي مان ريل سون This is Zechariah 2 and 7. It says, Deliver thyself, O Zion, that dwellest with the daughter of Babylon. For thus saith the Lord of hosts, After the glory hath he sent me unto the nations which spoiled you. For he that toucheth you toucheth the apple of his eye. For behold, I will shake mine hand upon them. <laughs> And they shall be a spoil to their servants. <laughs> they gonna be a, you gonna be a spoil to us, man. The Lord's gonna put us above you, man. You see, way, way, way above, way you, above. Man. You ain't never gonna get back above us ever again. Man. The, the earth's never gonna get back like this again, man. Mm-hmm. You gotta go, man. You got you Edomites gotta get destroyed, and you heathens have to go into slavery and subjection under us. Right, because nobody else could rule. Yeah. Hey. Esau, we already see Esau definitely can't rule, but let's let's, let's let's say let's say it's a a, a Hamite rule. Let's say it's a, a Chinese, a Moabite, a Japanese, Ammonite. You know, it, it's still it still be all hell, man. You know, hey, cause they, cause, hey, cause uh, uh, we only got the law, man. We we, hey, we 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 got the blueprint, man. So how to rule righteously, man? To live life abundantly. Yep. You know what I mean? Because these heathens, man, the way they live life just leads to death, man. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? And who the fuck wants that? Yeah. You know, you talk to regular two third ass Jake, they're dumb and simple as hell. And they say, Oh, I don't want to live forever. No, man, you don't understand what the Lord has in store for us, man. We're gonna have new bodies, we're never gonna get sick again, right? We're gonna be in our right minds, never break or transgress the law again. Right? That's the kingdom, man. That's living forever, man. You know what I mean? H- having joy of your children, watching them grow up. All right? You can't do that now, man. We're living in hell right now. We're not even living. Yeah, uh, yeah we're, man. <laughs> you're right, Ak. You're right. You're not even, this is not living, Shit. bro. He just, because, I, you know, it's, it's crazy because if you're a Jake, you can go into, say, like, if you work downtown, you'll see the difference between so-called living and how Jake lives. You can see it this far apart. Like, today I had to, uh, I took my mom to eat. And you got to go far as hell from Jake's neighborhood just to get something healthy to eat. So right. That's an example of us. We can't even live and eat good food in our neighborhood, man. And what do you have in our neighborhood? You heathen selling us the poison. You got your Elamites selling us the poison. You got a, the, the Ishmaelites, the Arabs selling us the poison. The white man got, uh, what is it, Planned Parenthood in there, all the neighborhood. Got his church. The, the shit gotta stop, man. And it's all being, it's all being um, orchestrated by you heathens, man. Ultimately by Esau. And, he, and Esau, by the way, he sprays shit over our neighborhoods yeah. too. You know what I mean? Yeah. So we're getting it like face to face and from above, man. And in the tap water. We're all fucked up here, man. We need the Lord to come back, man. ASAP, man. Yahweh is on soon. May he shorten these days and, and seal the elect and get the get us the hell up out of here, man. That's what we're waiting for. That's what we're begging and praying for, man. Daily. Multiple times. You know what I'm saying? Lord willing, man. You want to end it with that scripture song? Yeah. This is uh, 1 Corinthians 15 and 24. It says, Then come at the end, when he shall have delivered up the kingdom to Yahweh, even the Father, when he shall have put down all rule and all authority and power, you know, for he must reign till he had put all enemies under his feet. Who enemies, not friends. Enemies, man. Enemies, man. It's all you nations, man. Well, the scriptures say, "Well, don't I hate thee? That 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 uh, don't I hate them that hate thee, O Lord?" With a perfect hatred. It said, "I count them my enemies. I hate them with a perfect hatred, man." That's right. You know, so the Lord is coming back. You know, and He's gonna judge all you guys, man. It said, until he, it said until he put all authority, man, all power. Whoever's in rulership, man, he's going to bring down, man. He's going to, hey, 
like just like in the book of uh, I believe it's uh, Joshua or Judges, you know, where where where, where they are uh, those kings they 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 put their feet on their necks, you know. That hey, that's what Yahweh Bashimi Yahweh Shai is gonna do, man. You know, hey, hey, he him and the elect, you know, Lord willing, were those men, man. Hey, we're gonna have our 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 foot on, uh, on your necks, man. Well, and then we're gonna set up their, their righteous king. You know? You get your judgment, you get you, you get what you deserve, and then after that, hey, you hey yeah, and that shows you the mercy of the Lord, because then even after that, the, the Lord is gonna let you guys just be in your own land. You know? Hey, but first you you know you got you gotta you gotta pay for for what you did. You know? And like the boy was saying earlier, and you and you Isa, hey, once your punishment is done, hey, that's it. You're gonna be wiped out from being a nation. You know? Mm -hmm. Then we'll we'll dust off books billions of years later and say, yeah, there was a white man here called Esau. You know, he lived at one God. point. You know what I mean? God. You know what I mean? Because you're gonna be you're gonna be nothing, man. You're this is gonna all be a bad fucking dream to us, man. Yeah. And we're gonna go on continuing living forever from planet to planet and, and creating new things, man. We don't even know. The Lord only shows a spark of things, man. All right, so man, Esau, you didn't enjoy the rest of your little kingdom, man. The little time you have left, man, because it's it's, it's yeah. over. It's almost over. Entirely. <laughs> enjoy, yeah, enjoy this trash gun. Yeah, that's what I like to call them. You know, big, ass, big ass shithole trash gun. Even for you, you just think you living good, and you still have the basis of all things. Right. If Jacob's not ruling, the Lord, the world, the earth is not even yielding its increase. Nope. So you know, you got you need to enjoy your time, man. Lord is coming to take crowns, like he says in Revelations, man. Mm -hmm. All the rulerships, because he's going to put his foot down. You know? Well, with that, we hope this lesson was edifying. Again, we want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Nostra in New York who rule well. And salutations to all the occupants pushing this word in truth and in sincerity with charity to the four corners of the earth, waking up the elect. Shalom, shalom, wa ba ba ba. Ba ba ba. Till next time.